Sunday's Saints game is making news just as much for what happened in the stands as what happened on the field. Tonight we have reporters on both sides of the debate. First, the Saints fan criticized for catching the ball. Tonight he tells our Darian Trotter he never planned to be at the center of controversy. Uh, first of all, I would just like to say uh, to the people of New Orleans, I, I really wasn't trying to uh, put the city down to make the city look bad. I love this city. And this football enthusiast loves the Saints. Tony Williams says he's been a season ticket holder since 1968. The 70 year old has recently come under fire for poor sportsmanship after snagging a ball tossed into the stand Sunday at the Superdome. Bengals tight end Jermaine Gresham appeared to be targeting Krista Barrett, but the interception has made Williams out to be a villain. And he's really not a bad guy. He is a loving, caring husband, father, grandfather. Everyone is saying that I uh, elbowed the lady, but I really didn't. I turned away from the lady. He says he didn't steal the ball from Barrett or physically move her out of the way. Instead, he says he used his body as a shield. It's a free for all, somewhat like Mardi Gras. When a coconut is tossed or bees are tossed, everybody goes for it. Williams says in his 46 years as a season ticket holder, he's caught the ball three other times and he couldn't have done it passively. Because if I would have been, I wouldn't have got the ball. That's as simple as that. But he says he wasn't trying to hurt anyone. He compares fans in the stand to revelers along a Mardi Gras parade route. Everyone positions themselves to catch whatever's tossed their way. That's what we do uh, 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 down there in, 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 because we're all on the first row, so we have a chance to get the ball. And, and when it comes our way, we jockey for the ball. That's it. Do you remember her saying anything to you? Yeah, she was... Uh, pleading to give, uh, for me to give her the ball, and I said, no ma'am, uh, I'm keeping the ball. Oh, no. He says this fourth souvenir is for his grandson. He's eight years old, and he played football for uh, Lakeview Park. And Williams went on to say that he's surprised and a little hurt by the harsh comments circulating, but he doesn't regret a thing and is non-apologetic because he says he didn't do anything wrong. Live tonight in the control room, Darian Trotter, Kurt, back to you. All right, Darian, and there are two sides to every story. So now the Bengals fan who got intercepted in the stands. She says she's happy with how everything turned out. But WGNO's Tyler Wing found out the one thing that would have pushed her to put up more of a fight. What a day. You have no idea. <laughs> it's amazing how one moment in time Jermaine, Jermaine, Jermaine. caught on television for all the world to see. Zoink! Oh. Can blow up like it does. I saw you on TV yesterday. Oh, uh, yeah. My mother, my wife, and I went ballistic. You didn't get the ball that you, that you should have got. Give her the ball. That's okay. It's all right. We're standing at the rail, and Jermaine Gresham saw us. The Krista Barrett Media Circuit stopped by WGNO Studios to set the record straight. Try to get us the football. Um, but like I said, it got intercepted. The gentleman had positioning, though. He knew to kind of. He was kind of boxing me out a little bit. Any kind of contact that was made was incidental contact. You know you were going against the Zulu King. That's what I hear. But then a second ball, this time handed to her. Oh, this one of the game balls? Uh -huh. Well, that is cool. Yeah. See, we got a little scuff on it here and there, I think, from the game. The fallout over a Saints fan who stood his ground has, in turn, directed well-wishers to Bengals defensive tackle Devin Still's pediatric cancer care benefit. To do the donation to, you know, Devin Still and his daughter Leah Still at the Cincinnati and Philadelphia Children's Hospitals um, for cancer awareness. If this happened again, would you do anything different? Would you box him out? Probably not, no. Probably not. <laughs> so you wouldn't change a thing? No, no. Like I said, I'm happy that he got the ball. He wanted a ball, I think, for his grandson. But had it been a different game in a different stadium, Barrett says she would have made the play. Cleveland fan, out of the way! <laughs> Everything was so fast and such a blur. All right, now you're learning. Never in a million years would have thought this day would have happened. <laughs> yeah, and I got a ball regardless, right? Yeah. And Kurt, this Bengals fan says if she can turn that ball into helping a worthy cause, she'll have no problem parting with it. We're live in the News Center, Tyler Wing, WGNO News. All right, way to take one for the team there. Thank you, Tyler.